Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sped here. Excited today because I get to show you three really awesome products from a new company called Lockknob. They also have an amazing name, I think you'll agree. The first one I'm going to show you is the black ABS knob, which locks a setting in place and also then allows you to adjust it if you want to. The second one I'm going to show you is called a switch hitter, which will stop you turning on or off an effect or a button by mistake. And then finally, I'm going to show you something called a forget about it talk app. It allows you to set a volume or a tone, leave it in place and it will not change. So the first one we're going to look at is a new product. It's an ABS Universal Fit knob and it works great with stomp boxes like this. This is a custom overdrive I had built by my friend Ian over at Giga Hearts. So let's jump in. I'm going to show you how it works and why it's useful. Let's say, you know, you found a sweet spot for your volume here and you don't want it to be disturbed, going between gigs, chucking your pedal board around or people messing with stuff, sound check. You want to leave it there. You can take this off, replace it with this and it will just stay there. You can still adjust it if you want to, but you can lock it into your sweet spot and you don't have to worry about it moving. First thing I'm going to do is unscrew the little grub screw at the back here. And we're going to remove this volume knob here. They can be quite stiff because sometimes you'll find that they've got this little rubber band inside. Um, yeah, but you can see in the packet that lock knob give you one of those as well. So I actually opened one before because I was messing around. Um, and you can see, just let me make sure I'm in focus. You can see that when you open up the label you get the instructions inside every part, but it's pretty straightforward. So in the pack you get your little Allen key, you get that plastic sleeve, you get a threaded ring, and you get your little knob. Let's face it, everybody wants a little knob. So I noticed on this pedal that the pot was long enough that it left a bit of thread, so I didn't actually have to take off this washer and nut here, which was even easier. So literally, put this threaded ring on, and I put the knob on here, I don't know if anyone else does this, and I just twist it round, and tighten it, and then that's on, okay? And literally, you'll set it completely to zero so you can line it up. Line up your knob with all of your other ones. And then, this is the fiddly bit, using the little Allen key, we're gonna literally, maybe I could go in this way. We're literally just gonna tighten that up, all right? So now it's installed, you can set it to where you want. So when you pull up on it, you'll see that the knob lifts up and you can twist it. And I've twisted it to about 11 o'clock. And now it stays in place. These could be knocked or twisted. And this one would stay still. I mean, if you really do twist it quite hard, you can click it, but now it has, you know, some staying power, which is cool. And you just pull it up and twist it and you don't have to worry about your settings from night to night when you're playing shows or rehearsing. So the next one we're going to look at is the switch hitter from Lock Knob, which is really cool. If you've got a busy pedal board and you're whacking pedals all night with your feet, you're probably in danger of maybe turning something off that you don't want to. Um, if you can screw this over the actual switch and it creates a little barrier so that it can't be turned off which is brilliant. So yeah, we'll, we'll get this one open and this is super, super easy to install. So in there, you literally get this. And take your pedal, let's say it was plugged in, you turn it on, screw this over, and if I had a hand that was a foot, 
can't press that switch. Really, really cool. This is starting to look like a modded gun from a game now. I love it. So let's just say your pedal doesn't power on when you power your board on every night, because some don't, some do. Um, you wouldn't have to take this off. Uh, you can still use your finger to switch your pedal on. Um, this will just stop anything bigger than that, which is cool. Okay, so before when we were talking about the ABS one, and we pointed out that you can leave it in place, but it's still adjustable. Let's say you found your absolute sweet spot, okay, with your overdrive, and you do not want to move it at all. You just want to maybe change the volume, room to room, venue to venue. They do something um, called Forget About It, a tour cap. And that will literally screw on after you've set um, your parameter, and it won't move. So we're going to open this one up uh, and change our gain sweet spot, okay? Just for this demo, I'm going to leave it about there so it's easy for me to take this screw off, okay? In fact, actually, I could probably set it to about 2 o'clock. Pull that off. We'll assume it's in the right place, okay? And we're going to open this. Now, like I said before, this pedal has enough thread because the pots are quite long. So we've set our volume here, but that's changeable. If this is your final setting, you can just screw this over the top and we cannot change our drive level anymore. We also can't turn the pedal on and off, but we can change the volume. Awesome, look at this. So if you want to buy them, you can get them right now, which is cool. Um, places like Tour Supplies, Scan, Guitar Guitar are all doing them. And in terms of price, the first one that we put on, the ABS adjustable one, is $11.49. The switch hitter uh, is $10.99, I believe. And the tour cap that we put on last in the silver is $10.99 as well. So here we've got another awesome build from my friend Ian over at Gigahertz. And I'm just going to show you how to install one of the ABS um, knobs uh, where we take the washer off as well. It's so easy. It's just one more little thing. Um, I've already unscrewed this. I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to take one of these 10 mil attachments. It seems to work for me. And you don't need, um, you can do it by hand. You don't need to put the rest of the, uh, the tool in. I'm saying tool because I don't know what it's actually called. Um, take the washer off as so. And then you are going to get your little threaded ring, push that over. Now, don't freak out like I did before thinking it doesn't fit. Just make sure that the little grub screw in the side is unscrewed a little bit. Um, and then it will fit. So you can push it down. And then I use the actual um, knob itself to screw the ring in because it provides good grip all the way down. Twist it enough until it clicks and you've probably screwed it into place enough. Set it to zero and line it up with the other ones like so. And then um, you can tighten it up using your little Allen key. There we go. If you weigh up the amount of time you spent messing around with your effects every night versus how long it took to screw that in, I'm sure you'll save time in the future. So that's installed. Pull it up like we did before, twist it, let go, and it's set. That one's actually way firmer than this one um, in terms of when you try and twist it and that's happening. I would probably say if you've got the extra time and the tools, take the, um, take the nut and the washer off anyway because that feels way better and it looks a lot neater as well. But that's the easy way, that's the slightly harder way, but they're both really easy and awesome products.
Hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's been fun making this little demo for you. Like I said, you can pick up these products now from places like Tour Supplies, Guitar Guitar, and Scan. I'll link them in the description below. If you want to thumb up this video, that'd be awesome. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more demos, covers, and reviews. And yeah, this company is great. I think they make really well-made, useful products, and you're going to be seeing a lot more from them in the future. All right, cool. See you in the next video, guys. Even though you didn't actually see me in this one, and I didn't see you. Yeah. All right, bye.